Attention, please. The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, welcome to another stellar, packed, exciting, blow your mind, rock your socks, and just sprinkle sunshine into your life. Artist Heart Live. I am your host, John Morris. This is otherwise known as my one-man show, or uh, the, the thing where we talk about art, the thing that we talk about all things, actually, because this is a show that, that is just... It symbolizes everything that is good with life. It is pure energy, it is packed, it's exciting, it's fun, and I love doing it. Um, so <laughs> I am delighted to have you here with me today, folks. We've been noticing that our audience has been increasing every single week, which is just simply phenomenal. I want to thank you so much for that. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing they need to hear in their time of difficulty, struggle, or if they just need a smile on their face, a big bright smile for a Friday. I don't know what I was doing there. A big bright smile for a Friday evening. I don't know about you, but summer is definitely here in Scotland. Um, before we get to that, I, I got to tell you about tonight's show. We're going to sell a packed show for you, of course. We're going to be talking once more um, about another famous legendary artist, and I'm going to wait to reveal who that is because it's a real, real doozy of an artist who really had a major impact upon the world. And we hope, of course, you really enjoyed last week's show where he featured Michelangelo, and of course, the song that was beloved by so many of you that surprisingly hadn't been heard by many of you by John Denver and Alexander Gratsky called What Are We Making Weapons For? The world continues in its madness and insanity every single week, uh, but every single week, as much as I can, folks, I will be here to brighten your day and to give you a big smile and uh, hopefully to have some fun and to pack some energy into your life. So, back to the show. We, uh, as I say, we've got a, another stellar artist that we're going to be reviewing and we're going to be talking all about later on in the show. Of course, I will be delivering a stellar performance, which I am so excited about, um, of one of my absolute favorites. Um, in, in all the years of actually doing this show, and it will be Dire Straits Money for Nothing. One of my favorite bands, um, and one of my favorite performers of all time, of course, the incredible Mark Knopfler, uh, who was the head and I suppose the front guy of Dire Straits, so all that. And of course, I'll be sharing with you once more another speed painting, which you guys have been enjoying and loving so much, and you guys are just lovely. But on to the news this week, folks, on to the news. I hope you've all been enjoying the um, the celebrations and festivities of the Queen and her Platinum Jubilee. Many, many happy returns to you, Mom. Many years upon the throne. And in my opinion, you know, she is a lady that I, I love and admire, not just because of her quaint nature, because of her gentle nature, because of the fact she actually cares, but it's also the fact that she is a deep spiritual being. And she's not afraid to actually say that, especially in today's society, where you can get shunned and kicked out of society if you believe or if you don't believe or if you've got a spiritual life or if you don't have a spiritual life um, and she takes people as they are which is one of the most wonderful things that I really really admire about her you ever listen to the Queen and any speeches that she's given over the years and and you will not be disappointed um, you will hear just amazing amazing things um, so it was her jubilee this past weekend and of course there was festivities near and far all over London in fact all over the United Kingdom people were having tea parties people were having celebrations uh, my wife my family and I we all had celebrations we had cake we've still got cake coming out of our ears um, you know people always make way too much of these things and it's not good to be eating that amount of cake, you know, three, four, five days on, but it is a pleasure and it was wonderful. Of course, dear friend, uh, Rod Stewart uh, got the raw end of, uh, in many people's mind, got the raw end um, of his performance career when he not only performed a, uh, I would say, you know, uh, for, for, for 70 or 80 old man, whatever he is now, you know, a semi-decent performance, but then was unfortunately asked, and I understand why they did this, but it was asked to perform someone else's song, um, of which, 
yeah, he struggled with. So, dear Rod, you know, you, you did a great job. You know, you, you entertained the fans, which is what the entertainment, and that's, you know, that's what it's all about. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was very, very strange uh, to hear Rod Stewart performing Neil Diamond's music. And, of course, you know, talking of music, we cannot, um, you know, forget some of the phenomenal performers that were there. Obviously, Queen, uh, minus Freddie Mercury, of course. Um, Sam Ryder, of course, was there, who uh, was on Eurovision, uh, what, three or four weeks ago now. Uh, and, and so much fun and excitement was had that Prince Charles actually burst out into fits of giggles. Um, the youngest, uh, sorry, sorry, in fact, the uh, one of the sons of William and Kate sat and pulled hysterious, uh, hilarious faces. I'm tripping up my own tongue here. Pulled hilarious faces, and it amused a lady in the background so much that she fell asleep. Um, but there was a lot to happen there for sure, and it was absolutely tremendous fun. And if you got to see any of it, it was just an absolute sheer pleasure and a blast. Um, so many wonderful memories um, from eons ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was just tremendous. Anyway, folks, on with the show as I take you back now in our way back machine. Try to say that three times fast. Our way back, and I can't even say it first time fast. Uh, but as I share with you another exciting speed painting, and perhaps, perhaps a little, a little song of my own. I hope you enjoy this, folks.
What are you gonna paint, Maddie? That, to da huh? You're gonna paint the flowers? Uh, the, uh, the tree? The fence! Yes, the fence could use painting. It's peeling. <laughs> Very funny, Dada. I'm painting the garden. The whole <laughs> garden. All the beautiful flowers, the fence, the trees, the sky, <laughs> everything. It's going to be big and fantastic. Oh! Uh -oh. Yeah, getting wet. Oh. I know what you can paint indoors. Flowers! <laughs> but, Dada, I wanted to paint something big and exciting. Not just flowers. I just saw a painting of some flowers in a book. They were by a great artist. Let me okay, show you. Okay, sure. Show me. Dada, wow! Great! Let's go! Dada, I'm in Show Me in the book! Oh. oh. <laughs> Huh? <gasps> Where Ooh. are we, Dada? I'm, um, uh, not completely sure. I'll get you an umbrella! Hee-hee! <laughs> Great! Now, who are we looking for? Well, uh, yes. Uh, the painting in the book was by... Eh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Vincent! Uh, someone named Vincent! Vincent Van Gogh? The great, great artist? Oh, well, that could be his name. I don't see him anywhere. Everyone's gone inside from the rain. Where do you think he is? He was supposed to be right where we landed. Somewhere. Hey, Dada! A paintbrush! Now where? Another paintbrush! It's bigger! Look! A small paintbrush! Oh. All my paintbrush is gone? Um, huh? excuse me, but are these yours? Ah, uh, thank you. I thought I lost them. I cannot afford to buy more. I'd like to give you a reward, but I have no money. Would you like some bread and cheese? Thank you, Mr. Van Gogh. Call me Vincent. I'm so glad you found them. What a relief. Oh, what a beautiful painting. I call it Terrace of a Cafe at night. It's night, yeah, but the colors are so bright. The excitement I feel painting. I want the person looking at the painting to also feel. I think I can feel it too. When I look at it really closely, it's like I'm there, really standing in the street. Garçon! Garçon! An espresso for me, s'il vous plaît. It feels like we're in the yeah. painting. I wanted the colors to be vibrant, <laughs> even though it was night. See? <laughs> the yellow, the blue, the green. And all the different brush strokes everywhere. Thick and big in the sky and small down on the cobblestone in front. Yes, that's exactly right. Ooh, ooh, ooh that horrific. It's called the olive trees. Wow, it's super nice. It looks like everything is moving in it. Ooh, it excites the eyes. Everything moving. And the clouds are like when the wind blows. The wind also blows the trees, like when I was painting it. Vincent, your paintings feel so real and alive. No matter what I'm painting, if it's a farmer's field, a portrait, a bowl of fruit, or a church, I want everything to feel alive. Ah! <laughs> but not uh, that alive. Dada! The window! <laughs> Where did it go? The door! Hey! Turn on the lights! I can't see! I can't see! I get oh! That was dead fun! So what will you paint next, Vincent? 
I was going to paint a wheat field, but it uh, started raining. So I was going to paint those. Sunflowers are wonderful to paint, even when it's not raining. Yes, of course, your sunflower paintings. They're famous. Really? Yeah, sunflowers. Well, I want to paint some too. I can get you sunflowers. Thank you, Vincent. I love your paintings. Hmm. Hmm. That was fun. Vincent van Gogh was such a great painter. It's amazing. <gasps> hey, Maddie, it's stopped raining. You can paint outside now. I want to do a painting inside first. <laughs> Vincent would like that. And da, look, I'm finished. You did it, Maddie. Exciting and special. We can go outside now. I see trees blowing in the wind. But wouldn't it be more exciting to go paint something outside? Um, yeah. As soon as I finish another painting. <sighs> well, how did you enjoy that look into the life of Vincent van Gogh? You know, a, a, uh, a an artist who simply inspired so many and yet sold hardly any paintings at all during his lifetime. And now he is known as the father, almost like the father of art. I think he's actually the father of pointillism. Um, and, and Van Gogh's works on a personal level, I absolutely love. I really do. They're so bright, so exuberant. Um, and, and it was just wonderful. So that was wonderful, folks, to bring that to you. And... Um, it was just a sheer delight. I hope you've really been enjoying the show tonight. Um, as always, of course, we want to invite you, if you'd like to support the show, you can do via, very, very simple, um, just by liking and sharing and telling your friends. And that helps our little show grow and grow. We can entertain more people and uh, we, can, we can make people smile. And if you really, really want to support the show, you can on Patreon and you can click the link below. And that only supports this show, uh, The Artist Heart Live. It also supports our Wednesday show where we help people on a more spiritual level um, called The Battle. We all face podcast and if you haven't seen this week's particular episode and you're struggling with maybe how you see your place in the world and how you really view yourself go and check that show out because that is the show that's really going to help you get from where you are to where you want to be. Folks, it has been an absolute amazing night. It is roasting hot here in sunny Scotland. We've got degree, uh, up to uh, our temperatures up to about 20 degrees plus, um, which is just really, really hot. And and we ain't cooling down anytime soon, folks. We ain't we ain't chilling out. I'm now gonna get ready because for the very first time ever on camera, I'm gonna perform to you for your viewing pleasure. Dire Straits' amazing song of money for nothing. Until next time, take care, God bless, and we'll see you same place, same time next week for more Artist Hat Live. I'll see you soon.
Jovem, Merci Zone, yeah. Devlin the Spaceman got his own jet airplane. Devlin the Spaceman, he's a millionaire. We get some install microwave ovens, a custom kitchen and deliveries. He's got some movies, refrigerators. We got some movies, color TV. He's got some movies, color TVs. I should learn to play the guitar. I should learn to play them drums. Look at that mama, she got a stick in the can. Man. But we can have some. And he's up there, what's that? Who wine Moses? She's banging on their bottles like a chimpanzee. Oh, that ain't working. That's the way you do it. Get your money for nothing and you change for free. We got some install microwave oven. A custom kitchen delivery. He's got some movies, refrigerators. We got some movies, color TV. Get your money for nothing. Get your cheeks for 